Exactly. <laughs> So on that note, what are some of the strange direct uh, messages uh, that you've received? Well, I, I'll give you an example. I got a, um, I, I posted a, a story of, of the monkeys, um, you know, playing with my dog yesterday. And I got one, uh, what did he say? A guy, he was like, um, I can't get, I can't get past the vision of being in between your thighs because <laughs> it just shows like a little I was like oh my gosh flattering but <laughs> you didn't get blocked by the way he was I left it <laughs> um, and then you get off oh, the, the most raunchiest of things and a lot of it's all fake like they try and get catch you in the, um, I don't know they might send you something they, they might ask for something to be sent a lot of people fall for that and then they were like okay cool well I'm gonna send this to your fiance or your wife unless you pay me money and then people are hooked on that you know so it's it's all it's it's it, like every time I post a picture I lose followers and then I start gaining them because there's a lot of fake accounts that you know work on algorithms and work on all that yeah so I don't take too much from social media at all but where I can help um, where we did the Bahamas relief, I think in two weeks, I managed to raise over 600,000 US dollars. And wow. I'm not even American, you know, and that was just with a few posts and people linking up. It was one of the hardest things to, to be honest to do. I was, I was so drawn out with doing my job and then trying to, you know, sift through hundreds and hundreds of messages to try and get people together to, to actually help. And it worked. And I was, I was, very proud of myself to say that you know we'd made a plan and i think that's the only reason the only advantage i see of social media at the moment unless it's for an advertising thing or marketing yeah right and then yeah. what like just as far as that people will reach out to you and ask you to send certain things i assume oh, you're talking about like a dick pic i assume oh, absolutely i think i think between us all i have i have never received a dick pic <laughs> but i think colin has <laughs> really that doesn't shock me no, it doesn't shock. Well, I mean, I think he was shocked, to be honest. He was uh, <laughs> beside himself. But uh, we had a group. Uh, so we made a group of all the deck guys and uh, myself, Jack, Travis and Colin. And um, I think I don't know who it was because Jack and Travis were new to it. And they would send a screenshot of something like, is this chick, let's look at the stuff that I'm getting. And we're like, yep, don't worry. And we'd send the screenshot of the exact same thing back to him. Like, mate, you're not alone. Don't think you're, don't think you're the one here, you know? <laughs> so, yeah, it's just, some of it is horrendous. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm flabbergasted most of the time. It has but, anyone tried to, like you said, like blackmail you, like try to get something from you to then say, I'm going to put this out to the media. One situation, and it was very early uh, in the time, not, not as far as naked pictures or anything, but this lady reached out and she was, she had said that she was a, a counselor for uh, kids and, you know, she enjoyed the path that I was, I was, you know, moving towards. And, and I had got to, ch I sent her a message and I was like, you know, I really appreciate it. Thank you very much got to chatting slightly and then uh, got to chatting a bit more. And I kind of opened myself about a few things that were going on in my relationship at the time and nothing, nothing big, you know, but um, I just, I, I think, I think she lured me in with the whole, you know, she's a counselor thing and yeah. kind of, no, but not, not, not in a big way. She didn't, she like kind of drew it out of me anyway. It escalated very quickly because after speaking to her, the next day, I, I hadn't had my phone. My phone was off and I had got messages from her saying, what is going on? Why aren't you talking to me? You know, I, I deal with celebrities all the time. I'm literally having dinner with Chris Hemsworth tonight and this is how you want to treat me. I'm like, hold up. What has just happened? I don't, I don't even know what's just happened. And uh, yeah, it got to a point where like, I was like, listen, I don't know what your story is, but I think this whole conversation should just stop now because I'm confused. There was definitely a form of something, I don't know, a little bit loopy in some way. And I was like, okay, two days later, she now sends messages to my, she was my girlfriend then, now fiance, but sends messages to her saying, by the way, Joao this, Joao said this, Joao said, and, and it was all very, it wasn't specific stuff, but she'd managed to make it sound like I had this deep emotional connection with her. So now I had to dig myself out of that hole because now my girlfriend didn't want to talk to me at all. 
Um, so I, I give her a call and I was like, what's going on? She's like, listen, who is this chick? I said, hold on. Can I just hold on? Let me screenshot and send you every single message that was sent between us. And I did, I sent it to her and about a couple of hours later, she gets, she's like, okay, this chick is crazy. I'm like, yes, she's crazy. She looks her up on, I don't know, you guys have a, a website where you can see if anyone's had felonies or I don't know. And she's like, yeah. Dude, this this chick has got like three felonies. She's hold on. I was like, Oh gosh, so that also was a, an opening thing. What that opened me up to, to realize that you cannot trust anyone or cannot, you know, you, you can't open up to strangers at all. And yeah. So I did now, from there, I took a step back and I, I had no intention of anything. I just thought, you know, nice person to talk to. And that backfired dramatically. So <laughs> see, yeah. this is the thing. Like I am like, when you're from New York city, you just start yeah. at like, I don't trust you. And yeah, I, yeah. I mean, like I'll engage with people. I, I, I will, yeah. but I do have a thing where I'm like, anything I say to you, I just assume you're going to try to blackmail me at some point. There you go. Like I, well, I, I, this is just that, what that I assume. And, and with our account, accounts, we can see like the majority, I think it's like 99% of the viewers or anyone on my social media is from New York. So you got to, I, I figured out how to deal with it. That's, yeah. <laughs> oh, really? You have like 99% of people are from New York City? Yeah. That, wow. And, and like 0 0.01 from Zimbabwe. That's because we're such a small country country like i think the whole of zimbabwe is about the size of new york so <laughs> interesting yeah interesting so and when I think, sorry i, I no, think no, no. the reason that is is again reality tv is really big but within the city life um especially on our show you know a lot of people uh, i would call it a concrete jungle where they escape in a sense to see the beautiful views you know of what below deck shows and you know escape their own reality for a second, not saying that the reality is terrible in any way, but they escape to see what, what else is out there, you know? So I think yeah, so. New York, that's, that's big for us. So that's interesting. So when you got on the show and you started filming, you know, like you said, like you, you were new. So like you, you weren't aware, like when did you become aware of like, like you said, like the producers and like, Oh, like I see how like you might be like, you know, almost like how it's mean. going to be yeah. edited. Like when were you aware yeah. of that or were you not aware of it? Were you just like, I'm here to do a job? I was never aware of it on the show. No, I, I think they appreciated that the most about me because a lot of people were questioning them as, okay, should I be like this? Should I? And they're like, just be yourself. Um, okay. I don't, you know, it's, it, there are a lot of questions from other people and I just rolled. I didn't, I didn't question anything. I didn't question the productivity of, you know, nothing. Um, there were some times when, you know, a little bit behind the scenes thing, um, we were at a dinner and it, it got to fairly late and we had just had a day out. It was the day we'd gone off on, on the yacht to a place for lunch and it was an incredible day. I, I didn't for one second take anything that production did for us for granted. Um, regardless of what they were getting out of it, it was, you know, and 